Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Smoke and Flame Quick Tip. Now this one's gonna be on really simple uh, object removal um, when you don't wanna use a projector, um, but you have to get rid of stuff, you know? Um, Cause sometimes you don't always have to do a 3D track to do it. So I've had a few questions on how I'd go about that. And um, this is uh, one of the simple ways I do it. There's many ways to do it, but this is one way and that's gonna be exclusively in action. So um, we can check out our footage here and I'll just press play. You see there's camera move, it's got up and down motion. And for this example, we're gonna get rid of that little lady sign. And you know, it's not really as, as bad as you think for something like this. So first thing, is just pulling out a G mask. I'm just gonna go into results. And I'm just gonna draw an area just around this area to track. And I'm just gonna double click on that and just go into tracking planar. I'm just gonna leave skew on. I'm gonna keep perspective off, go to backwards, auto update, snap, and then analyze backward. And I'm not looking at the results, but I, I trust it. I'm actually viewing the front, so we'll let that do its thing. If we go F4, and I'll just jump here and then scrub back, you see it's a pretty good track. You know, no, no crazy jumps or anything weird going on, so I'm happy with, um, with that track. So first thing to do is I like to just hide my GMAS just so I've always got it if I have to extend my track later, um, you know, if something is wrong. Um, I like just to keep that hidden, just personal preference. The next thing I'm just going to select my axes and then pull out a GMAS just so it's a child. And I'm just going to jump to the frame that I started tracking on because there's uh, you can see it's uh, zeroed out. So that's important too for this. So I'm just going to press F4. And now I'm just going to draw my little bit tighter shape just for this sign. And I'm just going to spacebar B just to break those points. Oops, I didn't want that. I'll just go back to move. And for this example, that's going to work. I'm just going to soften that out and just give it a bit of space for if the track did drift a little. And, and I'm just going to put the blur to like 15. And now I'm just going to do it with the background actually. So I don't want this uh, background to be a part of the track. So I'm just going to pull it out and then double click. And you see it's lined up perfectly. And that's because on this frame, if keyframes are exactly zeroed out, if it was back here, it'd be different. And again, also that's more for the GMAS because right now nothing is going on with this because it isn't participating in the track. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to invert it and then just pull it on the X, turn off icons somewhere there. And if we just zoom back and turn off icons and just press play, you see, we've got that removed really quick, nice and easy, pretty much for free because we had that track with the skew in perspective and because we are just shifting um, and not reintroducing stuff, this is an actual really quick uh, technique to just um, remove something. Now, uh, the other way you could do this or some people might approach this is doing a freeze frame, painting it and then tracking it back in. But the, the beauty of this way and the thing to remember is when you do it this way, you don't have to worry about putting the grain or the, the noise back in and you can just, um, you don't have to worry about the track being as solid because you're just putting back in the move that was in the camera into your little G mask. So that's it for this uh, quick tip guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.